diegetic sound can be either on screen or off screen, depending on whatever it's sourced within the frame or outside the frame. Another term for diegetic sound is actual sound. A tablespoon of vanilla, one cup of granulated sugar, one cup or again 200 grams of light brown sugar. You could use dark brown sugar if you want to. Time to give it a whisk. And by the by, like the order doesn't really matter in the beginning. Dump it all in at the same time if you want. Nice and smooth, perfect. If you love to bloom cocoa powder, bloom the cocoa powder. So that means that you would add the cocoa powder right away to the warm, very warm melted butter and just let it mix it in let it infuse for a while and it will become like extra chocolatey fudgy but these brownies are lumpy so sifting it is a nice way to make sure there are no lumps the aesthetic sound can be the character's voices or the sounds that was made by the objects in the film or the music that is represent as coming from the story Bosan lah duduk di rumah. Saya mau jalan-jalan. Saya mau pergi beli makanan. Tapi tak pernah. Saya pun mau duduk di rumah, mau tengok telefon, sama main game. While non-diegetic sound is not the sound that is neither coming from the visible, that is neither visible on the screen or is implied to be present by the action of the film, non-diegetic sound is represented as coming from outside of the story. the balance with other sounds, the frequency range which is high frequency may be lost at a distance and the amount of echo and reverberation. Asynchronous sound is a term used for when the sound is not synchronized with the image shown on the screen. And usually this type of sound is used for expressive purposes. So this is an example of an asynchronous sound being used in film. <laughs> 